Strategy number two is to redesign jobs. Job design is the way the elements in a job are organized. The way a job is designed can impact motivation, satisfaction, performance, commitment, a number of important outcomes. Hackman and Oldham created the job characteristics model, the JCM, to explain job design. This model says that we can enhance intrinsic motivation by adjusting one or more features of the job. There are five core dimensions that we might adjust. Skill variety, task identity, task significance, autonomy, and feedback. From a motivational standpoint, this model says that people are internally rewarded when they learn that they personally performed well on a task that they care about. Here are the five core job dimensions from their model. Skill variety is the degree to which the job requires a variety of different activities so that the worker can use a number of different skills and talents. Doctors, lawyers, athletes have high skill variety. Task identity is the degree to which the job requires completion of a whole and identifiable piece of work. Contractors and artists have high task identity. Task significance is the degree to which the job has a substantial impact on the lives or work of other people. Teachers, doctors, and soldiers have high task significance. Autonomy is the degree to which the job provides freedom, independence, and discretion in scheduling the work and determining the procedures to use. Professors, for example, have a high degree of autonomy. Feedback is the degree to which carrying out the work results in clear and direct information about one's performance, about how well they did the work. Students, web developers, and artists have high degrees of feedback. A job's core dimensions can be combined into a single index called the motivating potential score. This score is the degree to which a job motivates a person. The higher the score, the more motivating a job is for that person. Jobs that motivate are assumed to produce positive outcomes for both the person and the organization. To score high on motivating potential, a job must be high on at least one of the three factors that lead to experienced meaningfulness and high on both autonomy and feedback. For jobs that score high on motivating potential, the model predicts that motivation, performance, and satisfaction will increase and that absenteeism and turnover will decrease. One of the reasons why the job characteristics model is so popular is because there is a lot of research support for the five job characteristics and for the personal and work outcomes. In other words, this model actually works. People often seek out jobs that are challenging and stimulating to them. Repetitive jobs, unfortunately, provide very little variety autonomy, or motivation. One way to make repetitive jobs more interesting is job rotation or cross training. This involves a periodic shifting of an employee from one job to another. When an activity is no longer challenging, the employee can be moved to a different job. The advantages of job sharing are that it can reduce boredom, 
increase motivation and help people better understand their work contributions, as well as the organization, how it works. Indirect benefits include employees with wider ranges of skills because they've worked in more than one job, and they're able to adapt to changes better and fill vacancies in other parts of the organization. The disadvantages of job rotation are that it can be disruptive to both the person doing the rotation and also their colleagues. It can also create a need for training and increase the amount of time that supervisors have to spend answering questions and mentoring employees. It can also create efficiency problems because we're wasting time, energy, and other resources. Job enrichment is another way to redesign jobs. This is when we add high-level responsibilities to a job to increase the employee's sense of purpose, direction, and meaning. This technique is based on Hertzberg's two-factor theory. To motivate, focus on the motivating factors. By enhancing the meaning of work, we can increase intrinsic motivation, which means that the extrinsic rewards are not as important to the motivation process. This could be useful then in an organization that can't afford more rewards like pay increases and bonuses. We want people to do the work because they want to do it, not because they have to. There is some evidence that job enrichment can reduce turnover. The disadvantage with this approach is that it doesn't have much of an effect on people's attitudes toward the organization. And we know that attitudes play a role in organizational behavior and motivation. The job characteristics model is focused on making jobs more intrinsically motivating. Relational job design focuses on making jobs more pro-socially motivating. One way to do this is to better connect employees with the beneficiaries of their work. Customers, clients, patients, and users of the products and services created by the organization. Meeting beneficiaries firsthand allows people to see that their actions have a real impact on real people. These meetings are accessible in memory and are more emotionally vivid, which makes the impact last longer than simply sharing stories or feedback from beneficiaries.